Well, when you know your due date, what would you do to change the due date? Due dates are set by a number of different um, methods. So uh, for years uh, past, uh, starting in the late um, uh, 1800s, early 1900s, due dates were set based on moons. Then we transitioned to starting to set due dates based on something called Nagel's rule. So Dr. Nagel was an obstetrician who calculated through a series of studies what he considered to be the length of gestation. And the way that you set Nagel's is that you take the person's last menstrual period, you add a year, you subtract three months, and then add a week, and that should be the due date. Nagel's has since come into a lot of question, and a midwife, uh, Woods, or Nichols, I think she changed her name because of divorce or something, but Woods Nichols' uh, uh, method was developed in the late 80s at University of Philadelphia or Pennsylvania, I believe, and came up with um, uh, a calculation for the length of uh, the normal pregnancy uh, length based on a new study. And this one was different compared to primate versus multip. So um, it's a similar process. Take the last menstrual period, add a year, and then subtract three months, and then either add 18 days or I think 14 days, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But you get a different uh, due date from that calculation, and that's quite quite interesting. Then also midwives are very aware of um, of um, what we would say kind of considerations. So how long was your last uh, pregnancy or your parents' pregnancy? How long was your last cycle? How long do you normally cycle for? 28, 25, 32, 35 days. That could change the ovulation and therefore add some days to the cycle. Leap year is a consideration. The skill of the ultrasonographer is a consideration. Um, and we also might have other considerations like age um, or uh, things like that. So uh, ultimately, um, due date is not a science. It is an art. And when I teach about setting due dates, I usually counsel midwives not to change uh, the due date uh, past 20 weeks or the second visit, whichever comes later, because it's not really defensible to get data after you've already established care or after the pregnancy is very well established. Because changing the due date into the second half of the pregnancy or after you've established care with them uh, doesn't look like you're actually providing clinical care. It looks like you're providing care for yours or the midwife's or the client's desire, not for what is clinically accurate. And that's because we know the fetal size changes as the pregnancy advances uh, because of genetics or nutrition. And so it's not an effective estimation of age. So long story short, uh, don't change the due date uh, in the second half of pregnancy. Do everything you can to gather the data that you need to set that due date right now and then trust it, lean into it. Mm -hmm.